Welcome to Lewis Frank Motor Cars. Today we have something really special for you. This is a 1994 Hummer H1 wagon. This H1 wagon is finished off in high gloss red with a tan leather interior. With just over 87,000 original miles, this H1 is in phenomenal condition. We do these videos here at Lewis Frank Motor Cars just to give buyers a little bit more insight into a vehicle that they may be purchasing as well as to show off the overall quality and condition of the vehicles that we buy and sell. No exceptions here. Gorgeous H1. Finished off in the beautiful gloss red. This is one of 20 for 1994 that were done in this color combination. This is one of a few years of Hummers uh, before the turbo diesel engines, this was a straight diesel. It was a 6.5 liter diesel engine. Very, very easy to maintain. Really a unproblematic engine. Some of the first editions of the, of the H1 that had the turbo diesel, if you go back in time and you really start to research them, um, they had some issues with those engines as, as time went on. This is a trouble-free Hummer. It's not a gas engine. The gas engine ones tend to be extremely underpowered. This, I think, is one of the best generations of the civilian H1 Hummer. Again, this is not a vehicle where you're going to have a lot of maintenance issues. They're very straightforward to work on. The engines are bulletproof reliable these, these particular years. And I think this is one of the most striking H1s that I've ever seen. Again, gorgeous color combination. It's, it's, it's flashy, but it's not. Um, the black wheels on this truck just really make it, uh, I think, make the red pop even more. They're a one-piece wheel. But as you can see in the center there, it does have the tire inflation system. This vehicle when new, I have a little cheat sheet here. When new, this truck was $55,000 window sticker. This particular vehicle, with the options that this truck has, was $67,000. So you're talking about $12,000 worth of optional extras that this particular, particular vehicle has. First being the tire inflation system, that was a $2,500 option in this truck when new. Now since 1994, the previous owner actually just updated the air compressor pump in this vehicle, which is a common item to fail. Uh, that has all been replaced and upgraded. And that's really one of the main reasons when we bought this truck um, for resale that I had looked at with this car. Was it still stuck in 1994 with you know uh, no servicing and no updates and no upgrades? Or was it a vehicle that was kind of brought forward in time to where you had a lot of the modern features and amenities and, and things were serviced or replaced or worked on uh, that make it a day-to-day -day vehicle? And uh, this truck checked off every single box. Also, the rarity of the color. They only made 20 of these. Uh, and I'm not talking about 20 wagons. They made 20 red Hummers in 1994. This particular truck also, with the options list that it has, I mean, there's some crazy options on this truck. One of them that's not so crazy is air conditioning. It did have the air conditioning system as well as the auxiliary air conditioning system, which is um, in the back half of the vehicle. So again, creature comforts back there, you're gonna be fine. This car had the $2,000 optional 12,000 pound integrated winch. That winch is hidden in the front bumper assembly here. You do, and we still have it, there's actually a joystick in the back that will connect right in here. I'll drop my sheet sheet. Um, that'll connect right in there and you can actually control this hidden winch that you can see between the bumper there. Um, 12,000 pound winch, really nice. We actually checked it out, it works phenomenal. This has the heavy duty rear bumper. Uh, with the tow hooks uh, integrated in it. 
This is the driveline protection. Driveline protection was steel plates that are underneath the vehicle that guard certain engine components that are under there and, and differential components um, so that when you're really off-road with this vehicle, you don't mess anything up. It, has, it had the original brush guard. Um, if you look online and you look at some of the brush guards from the mid-90s, they're kind of wimpy. This particular owner upgraded this brush guard to a spec that you'd see on newer H1 Hummers from 2000, 2001, 2002. And this is just an absolute beast on the front of this truck. It just gives the vehicle that much more presence when you're standing next to it. Um, it is just amazing. It, it, and again, goes with that black and red motif uh, that the vehicle is, is kind of going after when you look at it. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous from the exterior of this car. Power windows and door locks. A lot of these vehicles did not come with power windows and door locks. This particular truck has it. This is the trailer towing unit, which is um, a more modern style uh, tow setup in the back of the truck. Um, I mean, as you can imagine, the towing with these trucks is phenomenal. It has the deluxe radio, which you'll see when we go into the interior. And it also has the deluxe interior, uh, which is a padded, a padded style vinyl interior instead of just covering everything with, with tan plastic. Um, they did a, a padded vinyl interior, which really goes well with the upgraded um, leather interior. And again, I, I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but the, the vehicle was upgraded in so many different ways. It was done so well that uh, it really brings the vehicle into, into 2017 um, standards where you're gonna have iPod connectivity with this vehicle. They, they really did a nice sound system where you can uh, play your music via Bluetooth right through the speakers in the truck. The leather interior has been done over, I would say within the last year or so. Um, all the seats have been done. The air conditioning compressor has been done. There's, there's just a lot of little things that add up in this truck that make it that much better of a vehicle. I'm gonna actually pop the door open get a look at the gorgeous interior again you see more of that padded interior um, trim really absolutely gorgeous in here conditions amazing you would not believe that this truck is a 1994 when you look at it and you see those beautiful custom leather seats the company is custom uh, Custom soft trim, and I might be saying that wrong. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, they did the seats. You can look them up online on their website. Um, they are a national company. Uh, they did a phenomenal job, and these are not cheap to do. Very, very expensive. They, they actually went for the embroidered driver and passenger seat. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. There you're going to see that optional uh, auxiliary rear air conditioning electric climate control here, your Pioneer sound system, your low range and automatic transmission, your emergency brake, the tire inflation system is down there on the left. You have a Bluetooth microphone there, very, very small and kind of out of the way. It does have Bluetooth for your phone. Opening the rear area. Something I want to note is just how clean the interior of the truck is. Just phenomenally clean. Again, you're looking at a over 20 year old vehicle and uh, the interior is amazing. These seats back here are like brand new. Very, very soft. It's classic soft trim, excuse me. I always mess that up. Is the, is the folks who did the seats. Again, gorgeous carpeting throughout the vehicle. Everything has been freshly cleaned and conditioned. If you look back here, you can see that um, the, the deluxe sound system in this vehicle, uh, oh, it, it consisted of uh, mid-ranges and tweeters that were mounted up high in front of each seat. Also, you're gonna see that fold-out armrest. 
comes in handy when driving this vehicle. That was part of the deluxe interior package as well. Going to the back of the truck. You're going to see um, a set of kicker, uh, eight inch subwoofers. They're plenty for this vehicle. The sound quality is fantastic. Again, part of bringing that vehicle uh, kind of into 2017 with the sound system. Really very, very nice. Uh, not rattle your windows out speakers, but really fantastic sound quality. Again, uh, if I can reach it, this is the control for the 12,000 pound winch. You can screw that right into the front and uh, it'll give you all the control you need for the winch. The interior is absolutely gorgeous in this truck. Absolutely gorgeous. And right here, this is kind of the shot where you can see um, just the size of this vehicle. You sit about five feet apart in this truck when you're going down the road. And these, was de these were designed this way so that these vehicles could fit in the tank tracks for the military um, so that you wouldn't have to carve your, carve your own way. Uh, the tanks would kind of do it for the Hummers and these would follow along in the tank track. So that's kind of the reason, a little bit of history behind the vehicle of why they're so wide. Close this. And also with this vehicle, if you look at other wagons from different years, um, you're going to see barn doors back here. But the earlier wagons actually had the same tailgate as the rest of the Hummers. Um, and it also has this really nice uh, Hummer logo stamped here in the back, whereas some of the newer ones, uh, they really had a kind of a wimpy little badge here in the back. But with this vehicle here, you're going to see um, that Hummer logo right embossed on the back of the truck. The only really imperfection to speak of, um, there's a little bit of bubbling here in the paint. The severity wise, you're probably looking at a 5 or a 6 out of 10. Again, you could live with this. If you look at these vehicles online, most people won't even point something like that out. Um, I like to kind of show a vehicle the way I see it. Um, again, 99% of Hummers that you're going to see online are going to have at least something uh, on the paint or bubbling beneath it. And there's a little bit on the uh, passenger side, which I'll show you in a second. Again, if it was if it was severe enough, I would probably have, have replaced it or fixed it. But again, with this vehicle, uh, it's it's not something that I would go after. It really doesn't spoil the truck at all, at all. Um, it just looks absolutely gorgeous when you see it in person. Again, the next owner of this vehicle is going to be super super lucky. This is uh, really maybe my last shot at buying one of these vehicles to resell to the public. The values of these trucks are going crazy. And uh, to really be honest with you, I don't know if I'll be able to afford uh, buying and selling one of these. I saw a, I saw a o, an 04, it was either an 04 or an, 0, or an 05 wagon just the other day posted on eBay for $375,000. And the vehicle may still be on there and listed um, when this vehicle goes up. But just to give you the price perspective, they are just going absolutely crazy. So if you really, if you want a chance to buy one of these, you want a chance to have the experience and have one that's in fantastic condition, not one that's, that's a piece of junk or a gas model one where it's a complete dog, <clears throat> drive one that, that, that looks incredible um, that's not crazily customized where you really can't drive it every day. You could literally drive this car every day. And, uh, and not have to sink a whole lot of money. We have this vehicle listed at 53.9. I mean, that's not a lot of money compared to the other ones that are out there. Uh, again, there's one on there for $375,000. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. So, uh, just, just comparatively speaking, just a gorgeous, gorgeous truck that you're not going to have to sink a whole lot of money into. The car is done and it's really ready for its next owner. 
I'm going to jump in and actually start it up for you. There's no warning lights on whatsoever. So when you actually get in the vehicle, um, in front of you is a nice, good sized speedometer. You're going to see a weight light for the glow plugs. And you'll hear a small tick. That's when you know it's ready to go. Everything in this truck illuminates correctly. Your fuel gauge. Power windows. This is your tire inflation system. Again, really nice. The truck revs clean. There's no misfiring to the vehicle at all. Your climate control system. Everything, again, illuminates correctly. There's nothing that's broken or needs to be replaced in here. Just phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal condition. This was also added by, uh, by a customer here. Uh, three charge ports. These are the little things where you'd probably be annoyed if you didn't have that stuff in your truck. Um, your glove box here, cup holders that actually fold out. Again, a really, really nice place to be. It's a phenomenal truck. Absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal truck. I'm gonna leave the lights on just so you can see it when I get out. It's a little loud in here with the vehicle on, but when you see it all illuminated, it really is a sight to behold. We're Lewis Frank Motor Cars. We're in Danvers, Massachusetts, just outside of Boston, Massachusetts. If you're in Florida, California, anywhere in between, we can get a shipping quote right to your driveway. Just give us a call. Again, we really appreciate you taking the time to look at this absolutely gorgeous H1 Hummer wagon. My name is Louis Marinello. Again, if you're, if you're looking at this car, you want a shipping quote right to your driveway, give us a call, 781-771-8722. We've had 100% positive feedback with eBay since 2003. Uh, something we're very, very proud of. And uh, the, person who, who, the person who gets this vehicle is gonna be super lucky because you really don't see these vehicles that too often and at this price point. So uh, really a remarkable, remarkable vehicle. I'll tell you, I wish I could keep this vehicle myself um, because I really feel as time goes on, this is going to be a super, super valuable model, model and uh, a super valuable color. Again, one of 20 in red for 2004. I mean, 1994, excuse me. Thank you so much for taking a peek at this gorgeous Hummer, and we hope you're the lucky new owner.